Hello and welcome to this Bespoke Leaders Insights video. My name is Philip Anderson and today I wanted to talk to you about COVID-19, a strain of the coronavirus. But I'm not going to talk about this in scientific terms because I'm not a scientist. What I'd like to do is I'd like to use it as the background for developing leadership thinking and our ability to understand the inherent nature of challenges that we might be faced with not only in a leadership context, but in an everyday life context. Now, when we think about leadership development, we often talk about the dual capacities of both being able to diagnose a problem or a challenge, and then after effectively diagnosing it, taking action to address it in the most effective way possible. And in order to diagnose more effectively, it's helpful to use tools or frameworks or models that allow us to understand the inherent nature of a challenge. One of the tools that I frequently use when we think about diagnosing is what's called the VUCA model. And the VUCA model is an acronym that stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. And whenever we're faced with a challenge or a problem or an issue, one or a few of those elements may be inherent within it. But each of them individually has their own trait or their own characteristic. Now, to give you an example, we recently encountered the Australian bushfires here in Australia, and that is a prime example of volatility and complexity. The Australian bushfires were mass scale and moving at a very rapid pace, which is really volatile in nature. However, since we first created fire, we've known pretty much how to put it out. So there wasn't any ambiguity involved in terms of what needed to happen. This is contrasted then with where we are today and when we think about COVID-19 and the coronavirus. So what is the inherent nature of COVID-19? This one is really characterized by ambiguity and complexity. And ambiguity is probably the key variable here, which is the one that's driving some of the irrational behavior that we may be seeing in, in the cities and the places that we live. Ambiguity is characterized where there's no real known cause and effect relationship between our outcomes and actually when we don't quite know what's going to happen next. So it's not as if we can turn to the World Health Organization or any particular subject matter expert who can tell us what needs to happen or is going to tell us that everything's fine and A-OK. -okay. That's what differentiates uncertainty from ambiguity. In uncertainty, somebody knows the answer, somebody has the missing piece of information. In ambiguous situations, we simply don't know what we don't know. And at the moment, we're having to deal with that ambiguity as we navigate COVID-19. Now, when dealing with ambiguous situations, one of the key actions that we can take is to build assumptions, to have plan A, plan B, or plan C in place to help us deal with whatever comes next. And then we can pivot or iterate depending on what direction needs to take place. I'm sure, just like me, you're hoping that coronavirus and COVID-19 goes the same way as the SARS virus and the MERS virus, and that it becomes a manageable strain of our everyday flu. If you'd like to find out more about the VUCA model and the VUCA Prime, there's information available on the Bespoke Leaders website in the form of another Insights video. I hope that this video and this reflection on coronavirus and the diagnostic model of VUCA has helped you to elevate your own perspective and thinking when it comes to the inherent nature of challenges.